No! Your Eminence Delario! What? How did it happen? Why, Delario? Where did I put the phone? I think I know who he is. Hello? James! Or maybe I should call you Doctor? <laughs> Only when I'm on duty, Christophero. Not when I'm on holiday. I still can't imagine you in a white coat. The black suited you well. You've never understood a thing about style. I always said you should have been a model. <laughs> Listen, I'd like to thank you for all you did. And that friend of yours, the barman, he was really kind. He was able to organize everything without a problem. I believe it. Mario's more connected than anyone else in the neighborhood, and has more relatives as well. When I decided to come back to Italy, I never could have imagined I would receive such support. It's the least I could do. After all, you came early because of me. It's just as well. If I hadn't received your invitation, I would have probably postponed my holiday once again. As I've been doing for years. <laughs> you haven't changed. Always the first in the class. So, tell me everything. What did you want to show me? You've been so mysterious. Can we meet next week? I'd like to see you sooner. How about now? Um, okay. Let's meet at Mario's bar, outside your house. Of course, but can you tell me what this is about? Africa, James. What? I'll be at the bar in half an hour. I'll be there. Come in. Hello, Mario. Hey, Doc! Did you sleep well? I slept like a log. The flat is perfect. Thank you. Hey, don't mention it. This place belonged to my brother-in-law. I had to evict him. What? Are you kidding? Of course. He's a traveler, you know, for work. One day he's here, the next day he's there. My office is the world, he says. And so this place is empty for months. Unfortunately, the TV doesn't work, so I'll have to repair it before you can use it. So, no derby, Doc. But if you want, you can watch the match with us at the bar. <laughs> Even if you don't seem that big a fan. It's great. Thank you. I repaired my brother-in-law's car. You can use it if you want. It's downstairs. I really don't know how to thank you, Mario. Don't worry about it. As I... Did Father Cristoforo tell you I might need a car? Actually, it was my idea. A holiday without a car is not a real holiday. And then, you know, we're in Rome. We have a tradition to defend. We don't have the kind of culture that, uh... Mm, how do I say? Are you referring to public transportation? You have the gift of humor, Doc. Just like your friend. Very nice guy. That Father Cristoforo. He looks just like you, too. It's just that he's much, much more fatherly than you are. Is it so obvious? I haven't been around the ecclesiastical community for a while. Really? How long? Eleven years. And it wasn't an easy decision, was it? What makes you say that? Because you answered me instantly, without thinking. But your answer was very accurate. <laughs> Hey, I wouldn't be a good barman if I didn't understand people. 
Don't worry about the TV, it's okay this way. But you're wrong about me. I'm a great White Sox fan. Never heard of them. Do they play in third division? It's a baseball team. Baseball? That's a sport I've never understood. All those lines and rules. And why do they have to wear that big glove on just one hand? <laughs> it's not so complicated. Basically, the pitcher has to throw the ball from a distance of about 20 meters. The batter has to hit it back as far as he can. Oh, I see. Just like a penalty kick. Sort of. But without a foul in the penalty area. In baseball, you usually try to avoid contact. The goal is to beat up the ball, not each other. Ha! Ah, wimpy stuff! No offense, Doc. No problem. But it's not always that way. In the hands of a true American, a baseball bat is also the best weapon against apartment thieves. Eh, maybe it's good against American thieves. What do you mean? If you stay here long enough, you discover that for yourself. Welcome to Italy, Doc! Why do you keep calling me Doc? There's no need to be formal. Call me James, please. But I act this way with all the people, like, well, like you. Which is... Those who have more brain cells than I do. <laughs> of course, that's not such a difficult task. I think you overestimate me, Mario. Modest, wise, and above all, <laughs> very clever. I wonder how many degrees you have. Well, cleverness can't be measured by the number of degrees. See? What did I tell you, Doc? This is wisdom. Oh, I almost forgot. Here you are. The car keys. Mario, forgive me, but you seem hurt. You're right, Doc. I so miss working on cars. Once I did it regularly. But now... No, no, I mean literally. Your arm is bleeding. Oh, this little cut is from a spark plug that didn't want to come out. <laughs> Don't worry. As soon as I get back to the bar, I'll spill some 1998 Barolo wine on it, and it will be okay. Oh, no, you need a few stitches. Let me do it, please. Do you know a less painful way? This way is less painful and much cheaper. I'll get the emergency kit. useless. It's broken. Mario said the TV doesn't work. He'll fix it later. His wound needs to be treated. I can't leave now. I've got to stitch Mario's wound. I can't leave now. I've got to stitch Mario's wound. This emergency kit will be useful. I've opened it. There's everything you need for emergency dressing. This bottle seems almost empty. I'll take the cotton and pour on the remaining peroxide.
I'll use just one piece of cotton. I'm warning you, Mario. This could sting a little. Go ahead! It can't be worse than the Velletri Bianco I poured on the wound two months ago. Done. You sure know how to keep away from cheap wines, Doc. Is there any problem, Doc? No, Mario. I'm only collecting what I need for your wound. I'll tend it right away. No, I... I can't dress the wound without stitching it. A common needle and thread will come in handy. There's also a silicone tube. I could use it for some small work around the house, unless Mario does it before me, of course. Good idea, but if I really want to use them on Mario, I should sterilize the needle first. I should turn it on first. I'll turn it on. Okay. I can sterilize the needle this way. I'd better turn off the stove now. Yes, now that I've finally sterilized the needle, I can insert the thread. Just to confess, Doc, I've got a problem with needles. I'll be very delicate. Trust me. Well... Ouch! Hey, you were right. I didn't feel a thing. Hold on. We're almost done, Mario. Is there any problem, Doc? No, Mario. I'm only collecting what I need for your wound. I'll tend it right away. I've already treated the wound. Voila. Done. Amazing! I don't even feel pain anymore! It was just a small wound. Modesty is a gift of you priests, isn't it? Ex-priests. Yeah. Cristoforo. I'm going to meet him in a few minutes. Just outside the bar. My bar? I've wasted too much of your time. Let me lead the way then. Thanks. This morning, I received an excellent bottle of grappa from the wine cellar of my Apulian parents-in-law. It was for the bar, but <laughs> I was thinking of drinking it myself. But after everything you did, it's all yours. Oh, no. You fixed the car and I fixed you. That seems fair to me. Besides, I try to keep away from alcohol. 
What is this I'm hearing? Let me guess. You haven't read a single newspaper since you arrived here, have you? Actually, no. I've had no time to do that. I thought so. I suggest you keep this bottle very close for when you read the political pages. <laughs> I suppose you don't accept no as an answer. I'm the owner of a bar. People usually beg me for a bottle. Thank you very much, Mario. Now I have to go back to work. Best regards to your friend. Of course. Good lord, I'd really like to have your accent, Doc. I've got nothing to ask him right now. Better leave it where it is. He seems to be quite an important person. He's Mario Punzo, my Neapolitan cousin. He taught me to put everything I have into the job. I wouldn't be here without him. But we haven't met for months. Yes? James, where are you? I'm in front of the bar, just like you told me. Forgive me, I don't think I can come. Oh, well, don't worry, we can postpone it until- You can still meet me now. I'm at the Santa Brigida's house in Piazza Farnisa. Do you remember how to get there? Yes, I think so. I can trust you, can't I? Of course, but is everything okay? Sorry, I, I can't explain now. Try to come as fast as you can. Okay, but just tell me... Hurry up, James. He seemed... terrified to me. I've never heard him that way. I'd better hurry up. It's locked. No! Cristoforo! He's still alive. Call an ambulance. I said call an ambulance! Quick! The patient is ready to be taken to the hospital. Are you coming with us, sir? No. I'll follow later. Cristoforo. James! You... You were right! I'm here now. I was afraid of this. He... Don't strain yourself. Christophero was scared to death, and he didn't seem to trust anyone. Maybe I should have a look at what he left before someone else can get their hands on it. <laughs> 